I'm Paige, registered nurse and director of digital health coaching at Ovia. This episode on meditation and emotional well being is for everyone, whether you use Ovia Fertility to track your cycle or because you're trying to conceive. Today, we're going to discuss how to make meditation part of your self care routine. Most people have at least heard of the preventative measures to take to look out for their physical health, things like exercise, healthy eating, and regular checkups, even brushing your teeth. These are the things you do to protect your physical health, even when nothing else is going wrong. When it comes to emotional well being, on the other hand, being preventative is a lot less common. Many people find that the routines they practice to improve their mental health are the first things to be cut when things get busy or stressful. But it's exactly when things are stressful that you need to take extra care of yourself. Filling your own cup is the best way that you can continue to be present for yourself and for your loved ones. One way that I fill my own cup is through regular meditation. So let's talk about some of the benefits and how to get started. The benefits of mindful meditation impact both physical and emotional health, including reduced stress, reduced anxiety, increased concentration, and improved emotional control and stability. People who practice meditation regularly report increased self-awareness, patience, and an ability to focus on the present moment. Getting started with a meditation practice can be challenging at first, but with time, it does come more easily. There are lots of options for guidance. Meditation apps, online meditation videos, and meditation podcasts can all be helpful for establishing the habit. Finding the right space. Very rarely will life give you the ideal quiet moment to meditate. Instead of waiting for the perfect time, take good times whenever you find them, even for shorter periods of meditation. Before becoming a parent, I meditated 30 minutes each morning and evening for years. Now, as a mom of three, I feel really happy when I get five or 10 minutes of meditation before I get out of bed in the morning. So even if it's just 10 minutes, find that quiet, comfortable place to sit and get started. Take a moment to notice any feelings or thoughts you're having about starting to meditate, whether that's nervousness, excitement, or skepticism. Acknowledge those thoughts and feelings and let them go. Choose whether to close your eyes or to focus your gaze on a neutral space in front of you. Some people like to focus on the flame of a candle. Breathe. Maybe starting with a few deep breaths, but mostly just as you normally breathe. The difference is that during meditation, you'll make a point to notice the physical sensations and the process of breathing. All the parts of your body that are involved in breathing, the way they feel as you breathe in and the way they feel as you breathe out. Don't expect that your mind will be clear of all thoughts or emotions. That is just not how it works. It is totally normal for thoughts to continue to pop into your mind as you start meditating. But if you keep at it, you will notice that those thoughts will start to quiet. And that's why so many people call it a meditation practice. Keep focusing on your breath for the next 10 minutes or so, but don't worry if the first few times you try, you find yourself more focused on those thoughts than on your breath. Instead, just gently turn your thoughts back to your breathing. Notice the distraction, acknowledge it, and let it go. Take a moment afterwards to think about how you feel in comparison to when you first sat down. Remind yourself that while taking care of your emotional well being can feel like one more thing to stress about, when you start meditating regularly, it can melt stress away, offer perspective, and clarify what really matters. And log your meditation time in Ovia. I bet you'll begin to notice a pattern of clarity and calm on the days that you take time for yourself. I hope this gives you the inspiration to get started on your own mindful meditation practice, whatever that might look like. Thank you for watching this episode and I'll see you next time.